Mr. Weiler, what is O3B Networks? O3B Networks is a new internet infrastructure designed to provide very high speed capacity into the emerging markets of the world which don't have access to the same types and quality of, of internet that we have in the US and Europe. Even the rural parts of the world don't have the same quality of access as the cities. And O3B Networks is designed an internet infrastructure which will level the playing field to allow everyone to have the same speed, quality, latency, and performance of internet as they do when they're in New York City or, or in LA. What's the inspiration behind O3B? really is a leveling of the playing field. Spent a lot of time in Africa working on telecommunications and found that no matter how, good, how high of a quality of a network you could build on the ground, and by that I mean from the city to the end user, and you may have heard of things like uh, uh, LTE or HSPDA and 3G and all these different words or, uh, to, to describe the access network. There was, no a there was no link between the city and the global fiber network. So you can get connectivity between your home and the central office of a telecom provider, but getting connectivity from the telecom provider back to London from Africa or back to New York City, that was the real big struggle. And what we, what we realized was that if we could design a system which would bridge the gap between the current emerged market, if you will, and the emerging and developing markets, then the entrepreneurs on the ground could build the local infrastructure necessary, the mobile systems and the DSL and all those other networks to provide the access directly to the end user. So is this solely an ethical venture? We get that question a lot. Good ethics and good, um, a good mission tends to bind people around it. So the fact is that while O3B is and will or will be when, when it launches profitable and provide a, an appropriate return on investment for the investors and do so over a long term pro period, it is designed also to meet the needs of, of many people. So you can balance both at the same time. You can do good and, and do well at the same time. So how will O3B Networks achieve its objective of connecting the other three billion? Well, the other three billion is obviously a moniker for the desire to bring connectivity to representing the other half of the world that we forget. It, we're part of an ecosystem, an ecosystem of people who provide internet access. On the ground, you'll have mobile operators and you'll have internet service providers. They provide access from a tower to your handset. If you have a phone and you want to get YouTube on your phone, you're downloading from your phone, from the tower that may be up the street, that tower then will connect to our satellites and our satellites will then bring it down to, for instance, to land in, in Europe and go across the fiber to Google to go pick up the YouTube's information. Why has O3B decided to focus on emerging and developing nations? Well, that's where the need is and to have a solution for those environments which have relatively low uh, average revenue per user compared to the U.S. or the emerged markets, you needed a sweeping change. The, we needed to be able to bring capacity to those locations in a, in a cost-effective way and a, the ability to bring that capacity wherever it was needed and when it was needed. And O3B has that ability to bring capacity to link up Nigeria to London instantly and maintain that link for a very, at a very, very affordable rate. But satellite communications are expensive. It must be too costly for consumers in developing countries. Satellite is the only mechanism for most of these people in Africa and most of the people around, in, in emerging markets to get access to the internet. And the geo-satellites that are out there today are kind of like dial-up, so they get a poor quality access. But not only that, it's more expensive than access from the U.S. or Europe. In fact, people will pay $200 a month for just a small 64 kilobit dial-up quality line. And so this, it's, it's this weird inverse thing happening. So what we need to do is, is to drive the price down and the quality up, the two things that have to happen. Because in Africa, for instance, and, and throughout most of the emerging markets, it's very similar. You're, you're talking about 3 to 5% of the people that have access to the internet. It's a very small amount. And it because, it's because of the cost. If the cost was lower and if the quality was higher, more people would be able to use it. And if you have more people able to use it, more people will be sharing the cost of the infrastructure, which means more infrastructure can be built. So it all rides upon itself. And that's one of the major things that O3B is trying to solve. What differentiates you from other satellite communications providers? 
O3B network system is closer to the Earth physically. The historical satellites, the geosynchronous satellites that are out there today, are 36,000 kilometers from the Earth. That takes over half a second for a signal at the speed of light to go up to the satellite, come back, talk to the server, go back up to the satellite, and then come back to your computer. And it's that lag, that latency and distance between you and the server you're trying to talk to. I'll give you an example. You type www.google.com, you hit search or enter. It then sends a signal up to the satellite, back down, and back down to the Google servers, which respond with the Google homepage. And then it comes back. But that takes over half a second. And if you have a web page with many different features of it, many different pieces, maybe some advertising, maybe some different pictures and things like that of different people, each of those take their own half seconds. So web pages take an inordinately long time to load because it's so long between the, the computer and the server that's, that's bringing the information to it. What O3B has done is brought the satellite from 36,000 kilometers back down to about approximately 8,000 kilometers. And that massive change, that 4.5 times closer to the Earth difference, is in each run. So it's 4.5 times closer approximately in the first run up to the satellite, back down to the server, back up to the satellite, and back down. And there's thousands and hundreds and thousands of millions of trips back and forth that all add up to equate to your web page. So if we can reduce that by that four and a half times, you're going to have a four and a half times faster internet experience. And that will allow you to click through your web pages faster. That will allow you to pop up on the screen the Wall Street Journal and find the next thing and click on it very quickly. So who are your customers and what is the offer? The customers um, are generally forward-thinking ISPs, Internet Service Providers, who provide service to their customers. And Internet ser uh, Satellite Service Providers, people who specialize in bringing satellite services to the Internet Service Providers. And those people who will set up and, man and manage the equipment necessary to link an Internet Service Provider who might be in somebody's hometown with the global fiber network. So customers like Vizana, for instance, who is one of the largest providers of satellite services in Africa, um, they've purchased capacity from O3B so that they can provide that capacity to the Internet service providers, to their customers, which when O3B launches will be a major upgrade from the current geosatellite provisions that they've been doing with their customers. So at the end of the day, the, the people who have O3B networks backhaul it's called backhaul from the internet service provider back to the global fiber network. We'll have a much higher quality offering for their customer. More megabits per second, lower latency, more richer and, and, and dynamic experience for the customer. So those people will be using O3B. And it will be different one-to-one -one from the moment you turn it on to the moment, to the moment it starts. You'll have an instant difference in the quality of your internet and the speed at which of which things load and the speed in which you click through through web pages. So, how are you funded? O3B Networks is uh, very fortunate to have a real blue chip uh, group of investors. Um, with uh, obviously people, very many people know about Google, which has a um, a real strong. If you look at the investors, they have a combined dual mission. One, they want to see O3B level the playing field. They want to see internet available to everybody. It's like roads, it's like, it's like power, it's like medicine. It really should be out there and available throughout the world. And so they have that. They also, they're all financially savvy companies. They have shareholders in all public companies. Almost all of them are public companies. So Google, uh, Liberty Global, HSBC, these are, these are big name companies. Uh, and of course, the, the, the most well-known in the industry is SES, and I separate them a little bit because SES is, by revenue, or depending on how you calculate, the largest or the second largest satellite operator in the world, operating the legacy geosatellites. And they have invested in O3B because O3B represents a different type of satellite than the current legacy geosatellites that they operate. And so with these, these blue chip investors, they have been fantastic in terms of funding and providing all of the uh, requirements necessary to achieve the, the hundreds of millions of dollars that it takes to build a system like this. And, and that does sound like a lot of money, but the effect and impact of that 
of the system will be global in, in, in its impact. It will bridge the gap between emerging markets and people in even the smallest villages who will then get access through a local ISP that's going to be equivalent to the access they, they might get even if they lived in the city or somewhere else, and, and at a cost that's affordable. So it's going to bridge that gap and it's going to bring individuals online who otherwise wouldn't be consumers of our products and also developers of products to sell to us. So they'll be part of our economic ecosystem on a global basis. And that's really what everybody wants to see happen. So what is your vision for O3B? O3B networks will be able to bridge the gap for individuals and businesses in the emerging markets to link them together with the emerged markets with, and if bridge the rural areas with the cities globally. It has enough capacity to provide that, that internet access to the people around the world. It can scale through well beyond 8 and 16 and 24 satellites. It really has a, a huge amount of scalability. And if we can continue to build the satellite system, reduce the cost structure for the end user by teaming and partnering with entrepreneurs on the ground. So on the one hand, we're reducing the cost of internet access. On the other hand, you're creating jobs, you're creating employment and uh, understanding and knowledge of the technologies on the ground for the entrepreneurs. That's stage one, where the entrepreneurs bring the capacity to the end user. Stage two is the end user starts using it and starts writing the software and starts participating with the rest of the world and using the, the, the JavaScript and the Ruby on Rails and programming these things. And they, become, they start earning their own living through the system, never knowing how it gets there. They just know that it does get to the internet and comes back to them. So if O3B's vision is really to be to level the playing field and be the, a major network provider with this new internet infrastructure for the other three billion in the emerging and developing areas around the world. The impact is that individuals will have high-speed internet. They'll have access to the same types and qualities of internet, of, of Gmail, of Facebook, of YouTube that we have here. And they'll start developing their own applications, their own apps for, for Android, for instance, and sell them in the App Store. All of these things will happen because they have the same quality of access that we have. They're no different. They're sitting in front of a computer just like we are, but they're sitting in front of a computer that has the same capacity and speeds and access that we have. And then they can participate exactly like we do in the Internet.